Today we check out the Quick Release One V2 from Edelkrone. Can this simple camera mounting tool really help speed up your photography and videography workflow? So as you get more into photography or videography, one thing starts to happen, and that's you start to accumulate more and more gear. And especially in my case, the one thing I now have a lot of are things that I can mount my camera to. I have a number of different tripods, I have my desktop stand, I have a camera dolly, and I now have a new camera slider. Review on that to come in the future. Now I totally appreciate that this is a very first world problem and I'm very privileged to be able to own all these different accessories. However, as I'm not able to dedicate a camera to each, I do now spend a huge amount of time moving my camera between them. And this poses a challenge, as each different accessory has a different way of mounting to my camera. For instance, some have a plate that looks like this. Others also use a mounting plate, but they're a different shape and size to the first one. And finally, some accessories just attach directly to the camera with no mounting plate at all. And this all means that when I want to move my camera from one accessory to another, I have to spend a lot of time removing plates or adding new ones if they're a different shape or size. And all of this slows down my workflow. In order to combat this, the clever people at Edelkrone came up with a quick release one and have subsequently released a second version of it. Let's go and check it out. First up, let's take a look at what you get in the box. And the one thing I will say is that Edelkrone's packaging is beautiful. They're clearly going for a very premium look and feel. Anyway, moving the foam to one side, straight away you can see the main product, the quick release plate. And there's not a lot else in the box other than an Allen key or a hex key for my American friends. There's some instructions and that's about it. So taking a close look at the quick release tool itself, it really does feel like it's built to last. It feels very sturdy. The main body of it is made out of a metal, which I believe is an aluminium. And at the top, you have the quarter inch screw thread, which of course is metal in itself. Just below that, you have a rubberized plate so that when it is mounted to the camera, it really grips and it will not slip. Turning the quick release tool over, at the bottom here, you can see all of the moving parts. And these are used to actually mount this tool to a quarter inch thread. These are all made out of stainless steel, so again, should really last a long time. Overall, this product does feel great. It really does feel like it's well made. It's not heavy. It weighs around 100 grams or three and a half ounces, but it feels like it's got a certain heft. Anyway, let's go and have a look at how it's used. Right, so first up, to use a quick release one, you have to attach it to your camera, and that is where the hex or Allen key comes in. Essentially, you mount this to your camera like you would do any other kind of tripod mounting plate. However, it doesn't have an independent key or slot that you can turn in order to actually attach it to your camera. You have to use the key to put it on. And once on, it feels super secure. It's not coming off unless you use the key to remove it. Now, to mount your camera to a tripod using the quick release one, firstly, you need to ensure that the usual mounting plate is in the top of the tripod already. Then, place your camera with the quick release on the bottom over the top of the mounting plate so that the mechanism on the bottom of the quick release lines up with the quarter inch thread which is built into the plate for your tripod. Once you've done that, all you need to do is push down slightly and turn the quick release one like this and it will attach itself directly to your tripod. And that's it, you're done. You can see it attaches itself very quickly to the tripod plate. It doesn't take the normal amount of revolutions as it would do if you're using the screw on the plate itself to attach to your camera. It's clearly geared. And then to remove it, all you need to do is hold onto your camera, turn the quick release one the opposite way and off it will pop. It really is that simple. So as you can see, this product is really easy to use. But the big question is, does it really save you any time? Now I've been trying to think about a best way to actually demonstrate to you. How can I do that? I have an idea, follow me. Okay, so like anything in life, I think the best way to figure out how well this product works is via a competition, and in this case, a race. I have set up what could be called a camera assault course. Here I have three accessories onto which I often mount my camera. My travel tripod, my desktop tripod, and my brand new flex tilt head from Metal Chrome. Review on that to come later. What I intend to do is see how quickly I can move a camera between these three mounts using their natural mounting method. So in the case of my travel tripod, it uses a very standard mounting plate, which you leave attached to the camera. And actually that's exactly the same shape and size plate used by my desktop tripod. So moving between those should be relatively quick. I should be able to pop the camera out and put it straight into this one. However, when I move on to the flex tilt head from Edelkrone, that doesn't actually use a mounting plate at all. It has a quarter inch thread built into it. 
So I'm gonna to have to take the plate off the camera and then put it on there. That's going to take a little more time. Once I've done that, I'm going to repeat the process, but this time using the quick release tool from Edelchrome to see how quickly I can move between them without having to remove plates and that kind of thing. Will it save me much time? Once I've done that, I can compare the times. Do I really, really save a lot of time using the quick release or is it actually just as quick to use a natural mounting methodology on these tripods? So without further ado, let's go for round one. Natural mounting methods. Let's see how quickly I can move between them. Okay, so the plate's attached to the camera and all the mounts are ready to go. Let's get timing. Three, two, one, go. And done. So how quick was that? I won't know until I go back to the computer and look at the video. But now let's try that using the quick release tool from Metal Chrome. Will it be any quicker? Let's find out. Okay, so as you can see, I've now got the quick release tool mounted to the camera and the tripods have their plates in. When you're using this tool, you leave them in at all times so the screw thread is there and ready to go. Let's see how quickly I can move between the three mounts now using this. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so that felt a lot quicker to me than actually using the natural mounting methodology. But I'm not going to know, as I said earlier on, until I go back to the computer and take a look. So let's do just that. Okay, so having checked out the footage I took during the test, I have to say I'm pretty impressed with regards to the difference that the actual quick release tool made. Without it, it took me just over 41 seconds to move my camera between the three stands. But with it, they're reduced to just over 13 seconds. And you're probably thinking, a 28 second saving, who cares? But think of it this way. If you're spending your whole day shooting photographs or taking video and you're using a number of different accessories to get the shots you need, then it's likely you're going to move your camera between them frequently. And it's in that situation where this quick release tool could really make a difference. It will make those transitions much quicker but also it will make your entire workflow far more seamless. And especially in a situation where you're under some time pressure to get the shots you need, maybe a specific type of lighting situation, such as a sunset, then actually you don't want to waste your time moving your camera between accessories. You want it to be as slick as possible. And this tool can really make the difference. It could really help ensure you get everything you need. And there are a couple of other benefits to using this tool, which go beyond the actual time saving. For instance, it does help reduce wear and tear on your camera. If you're constantly moving your camera between tripods and other accessories, then the quarter inch screw thread, which is actually part of your camera body at the bottom, is going to wear out over time. However, if you're using this tool, then it is taking the brunt of that wear and tear. It will save your camera in the long run. And finally, and I'm sure I'm not alone in this, I often waste tons of time trying to find the plates to actually attach my camera to accessories. And using this tool somewhat eradicates that because those plates can remain in the accessories at all time. You know where they are. There are, however, a couple of things that I don't really like about this tool. The first is the fact that you need to use an Allen key or a hex key to attach or remove it from your camera. Imagine the situation that you're going out on a photo or video shoot and you've accidentally left it on your camera and you don't actually need it. Well then, it's not coming off unless you've got the tool with you. If it were a standard tripod plate that you had left on, well then you could use a coin or a knife, or some of them even have a built-in key, to actually remove it from your camera. However, this is not coming off without that tool. The second thing I have to mention is the fact that these are not cheap. In the UK here, this one set me back about £79, and in the US it will be about $99. So if you do have a multi-camera setup and you're thinking about getting these for each of your cameras, well, that could really add up. And the final thing I don't particularly like about these is, well, this. Now this issue is not one just for the quick release tool. If you have a regular tripod plate on the bottom of your camera, it will do the same thing. But for fear of sounding like a broken record, as this is that much more difficult to remove, if you don't have that tool with you, there is a danger that this will continuously happen. Now your camera bumping down once or twice will probably not damage it. However, you can imagine if it happens repeatedly, then you could begin to see some damage to your lens or the lens mount on your camera. 
and that would be far from ideal. And also, if you do find yourself in a situation where the quick release tool is mounted at the bottom of your camera, then be careful not to place your camera too close to the edge of a surface or a table, because if it does bump down and slip forward and falls off the table, could be goodbye camera. Ultimately, most of these negatives, other than the price, can be avoided by being a little more organized before you go out on a shoot. If you don't intend to use a quick release tool, well then remove it before you go, or ensure that you always have the Allen or hex key with you at all times. And so to summarize, I really think that the Edel Chrome Quick Release 1 V2 is an excellent piece of kit. If you, like me, own a huge number of things that you can mount your camera to, and you find yourself moving your camera between those in the period of a day and wasting time, then this can really help speed up your workflow. If you're in a time pressured situation, like I said before, at a wedding or photographing a sunset, again, this can make sure you get the shot and aren't wasting time switching plates or trying to move your camera between the tripods that you want to use. It will save wear and tear on your camera and take the brunt of the movements itself, meaning your camera body will potentially last a bit longer, saving you money in the long run. However, these are not cheap. If you do have a multiple camera setup and you're thinking about investing in a number of these, then please do add it up because you will end up spending a lot of money. And the one thing you will need to be when you're using these is organized. If you forget to take the hex key or Allen key with you and you want to take this off your camera, you don't stand a chance. And you really want to avoid this when you're putting it down. Ouch. Ultimately, I would definitely recommend the Quick Release 1 V2 from Metal Crone to anybody in a similar situation to me, where you have a single camera setup that you use with multiple accessories. It will definitely speed up your workflow and ultimately make your shoots a bit more pleasurable. Anyway, that's it for today's video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please leave them in the comments section below. And until next time, have a great day.